Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome to our new and improved career mode. Today it's the beginning of Crystal Palace career mode. We did the um, pile of accusant career mode and we finished it, man. It was dope. It was good. It was nice. I enjoyed every second of that career mode. Now the new challenge, Crystal Palace career mode. Is Crystal Palace good enough? To at least finish the season in the Europa League spot. I don't know. I will see as the season goes on. We are still on well class. I'm still uh, planning not to sell Zaha. I'm keeping Zaha. I'm keeping one plus Zaha. I know there are, there are rumors that he might go to... To Manchester United, the deal has been agreed, 55 million and stuff, but I'm keeping one per sucker. I have the guy called Punch Y. Punch Y is to keep for me. I'm not gonna sell Punch Y. I'm keeping Punch Y. Not sell. I'm not gonna terminate his loan. Usually, I terminate some players' loans and start afresh, maybe buy them. But this time I'm not gonna do that. And this is how the career mode's gonna go. It's gonna go a little bit different. Each and every month, I simulate one game or two, depending on how many games we have that month. But I'm not gonna play all the games in a month. I want to make it a little bit difficult. So what I'm gonna do, I will make sure that Every month I simulate a game. We lose, we win, we continue. We don't care. We simulate each and every month. Which games to simulate? I will see the month first. And then I'm going to decide. This is the game to simulate. If there's a case, I will put the, the, the poll to vote. But usually I'm already like forward with my career mode. When I put it up, I will already be like on the next step. But uh, maybe I can do, I can check the rest of the season, and then we decide together which games to simulate, which games to play. But I'm not planning to simulate the big games like with the big teams. I can only simulate the games with the big teams if it means in that month we are playing all four of the top six then we will decide which one to simulate but if that's not the case i'm playing watford at some point in the in the month and i have spares i have arsenal i have chelsea okay simple i'm simulating what watford then i'm playing chelsea i'm playing spares i'm playing arsenal that's it that's what i want to do i want to make it each and every month though there will be a simulation i'm not going to play all the games and that will help us it will make the the series shorter and simple before everyone gets bored the series is over we start a new challenge and i have another one that's going to be running on my other channel nino sport 2 i have another one that's going to be running there Atletico Madrid career mode, life after Griezmann. Yes, we're going to let Griezmann out of the window. If we don't receive offers, I don't know what we're going to do. Swipe or we just release him. We we'll do something though. I don't want to see Griezmann in Atletico Madrid career mode that I'm going to be doing on my other channel. So, but for now, it's about Cross the Paris. Which players I need? I don't need old players people know me very well especially with teams like trust Palace. there's no need for me to go for old players why 
what am I going to do with an old guy? He's already been proven that he's the best. I don't like that. I want a player that I will say, I want to see his progress. I want to see him grow. That's what I want to see. So I think this is going to be brilliant. It's going to be a great career mode that I, I have done in some time. I hope it will get me some more subscribers, more viewers. Please tell your friends to like and subscribe. We're going to enjoy this. I, I, I want to do these things differently. I, I continue to grow step by step. Hopefully by the time they release FIFA 20, I will be in the level where I can give you guys a better content good stuff something that you can enjoy you can enjoy watching it each and every day when i release the video and that will motivate me to release more videos i can even release every day if that's the case because that will be the motivation looking at our squad gaitan i think i'm gonna let him go of course he's gone i did some other stuff out of the out of the camera because otherwise my videos will be too long and i don't like that i bought some players i bought some quality players this guy he's recently bought by real madrid kubo i want to test him out i never used kubo before i bought him i said i know what before he can play for my team i like real madrid i support man city and real madrid so i said before he can go and play for my team let me test him on crystal palace career mode He's not going to play every day, but he's going to have games there and there. So we will see if he's really good. But I looked at his skills, man. He's, he's a top player. Let's look at, the, at everything that ha has happened this season. But we will only look for what happened in our team. Not everywhere in Europe. We saw done. We sold Ward, we sold Pancheno, we bought Kutepov, Bustos came in, Tomkins gone to Arsenal, Lewis in, he's a left back, young good left back, P Square is gone, Speroni old and gone, Wickerman gone, Fruchel is coming in as a backup keeper, Torino, we went to Torino and take Barcelli, Mangala coming in, Anderson a very good defender, best keeper who's playing in the championship, I don't know why Buckland is in, we went on and by Tosad, with Buckland it's a swipe deal, Gaetan going other side and then we got this guy and then Shrub going other side we got Tosan, Hector coming in, Kubo coming in for 1.5. He's not expensive. I'm not gonna complain. Then we saw that guy Enis is gone. I don't know him and I'm not I was not gonna use him unfortunately. So that's how my team looks so far. First game of the season. We are playing none other than full ham. Let's see if this will be one of our best games. We are at the Craven Cottage, boys. It's sad that we don't have them in the Premier League next season. They're a good team. I didn't do many career moves with them, but I think they are, they are a good team, man. Especially to do career mode with. They have good players, good young players. Look at that clinch. Players are busy there, shaking ghost hands. Mitrovic, Mac who's this guy? Markovic, Chambers, Chambers to Mitrovic, Mitrovic to Kenny, Kenny to Markovic, Markovic coming forward, Kenny again, Kenny to Markovic, Kenny, Markovic, Markovic with the cross, Mitrovic scored. Fifth minute of the game, Fulham takes the lead. Poor defending, poor defending by my player, very poor, sloppy defending, Zaha to Torsat, Torsat is looking around, Torsat, tossing and turning, Zaha, Zaha to Medijovic, Medijovic back to Anderson, Anderson, Anderson back to Sako, Sako to Torsat, Torsat, Torsat Medijovic, 
Miljajovic is looking around. Miljajovic lost the ball. He speeds slower. His reaction is a bit slower. He's not a good player to use in this game. He's not a good player to use, I'm sorry. I might have to sell him. But again, Fulham is coming forward with Babel. Babel. Back to Brian. Brian to Mitrovic. Back to Brian. Brian. Brian so Chambers. Chambers. Chambers, Selry. Selry Makovic take a shot, but that was a very weak shot. We're coming forward with Banjuayi. Banjuayi. Banjuayi to Townsend. 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 To Zaha. Wilfred Zaha. Zaha is getting into the 18 area and Zaha scored. Added on time, Zaha scored the leveler. It's 1-1. One, one. Brilliant goal by Zaha. He managed to open the space there. I didn't think that he was going to get through there. I thought they were going to just touch the ball. Because that's how good AI defending is, man. I thought they were just going to touch the ball away from Zaha. But they failed and Zaha punished them. It's 1-0 and... We are about to go to half time. It's half time. Fulham fans are happy. That's a terrific save. Second half. Miljajovic to one Basaka. One Basaka. One Basaka to change the game, man. He switch play to Bustos. Bustos. Bustos tries the cross, but can he box? Chambers is going off. Five minutes left. Koyate, Koyate with the cross, Parcel with the head, a keeper with the save. Another cross. Corner is coming in, but well defended by Kane. Another corner is coming in, Babel defended it well. Anderson is coming forward. Anderson to Koyate again. Koyate. Koyate with the cross, but it was a terrible cross. It was a very poor cross. One minute left. Paseli. Paseli Koyate. Koyate has been good, man. Ever since he came in, he's been good. Koyate saw Zaha. Zaha. Zaha coming forward. Zaha is coming forward. He's in the area. He passed the ball well to Paseli. Paseli. Missed by Jordan Ayu was there to finish. Jordan Ayu finish man on the 93rd minute. It is 2-1. Trust the Palace is up now. There is not much time left. Well done Jordan Ayu. Brilliant goal. Actually, Zaha is has been a blessing this season, man. He's been playing well. Jordan Ayu scored the winner. That surely should be the winner now. Referee, please end the game. That's it. It's the end of the game. We won. After being 1-0 down in the first half, but we managed to come back, man. 2-1 at the end of the game. Wilfred Zaha, the man of the match. He played well. He is the leader anyway, because I want to beat the team around him. But with our captain, Midiarovic, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I might have to sell him. I might have to sell him, but I will see, man. If there's a potential buyer, I am really going to sell him. Let's try to get Palacios for Mayor. Mayor will go the other side. I don't think I'll use Mayor as well. I don't think I'll use him. The player is a bit short. I know, at least I know that guy is having good stamina. He's a good player, man. He's a good attacking player. His shots are so accurate. We failed to sign Martinez and he's so expensive, man. 
it's too expensive I don't know what you guys think about Manchester United buying one Pasaka for 55 million I don't think it's a good buy I don't know but I don't think it's a good buy one Pasaka 55 million you said you want to build a team if you want to build a team you don't waste money go for the players that you can build don't go for players who already feels and think that they are big they're gonna give you a proper attitude that you're not gonna like let us be honest one Pasaka if he can play well in, at Man United for one season next season Barcelona come knocking and said we need one Pasaka do you think one Pasaka will say no to Barcelona he will say no, yes and then he will force his way out that's what I don't like at least if you're gonna get your player a younger player and then you build the player Give him a big contract and you know that he's going to be happy to be in your team. Not the player who, who will feel like he's doing you guys a favor. Be busy telling people that I want new challenges. I want new challenges. To me, that is the soft way of saying that I'm too big for your team. I want to move on. Try somebody who's smaller. To play for you i'm trying to get notch he's a good defender his height i like his height and it's good on the air i know uh for for this team i almost destroyed the back line except for right back and one center back of which is Sako. but the rest they are not good enough i think they are the architects of um crystal palace fall because if you can see crystal palace they don't belong in the bottom of the league all the time they have to fight with the teams who are fighting for relegation no they shouldn't be involved in that dog fight but i think the back line they need to refresh their back line a little bit just a little bit because those guys, some of them are aging, like Kelly. Kelly for me is not a center back. I remember Kelly was playing a right back and at Liverpool. Then he went to Crystal Palace. Then I think they said he didn't have enough speed. I think that was the reason. I don't know. But if that was the reason, then I don't see why Palace are still having him second game of the season man we have liverpool on the agenda but at least we are at sunhurst park welcome to we are not at anfield bunch why he kicks the game off townsend townsend to bustos bustos mangala mangala to tosa Tosa to Milajovic, Milajovic pass the ball wide to one Pasaka, one Pasaka back to Tosa, Tosa up to Mangala, Mangala, Mangala to Tosa, Tosa so Anderson, Anderson, Anderson take the pass to Milajovic but the pass was not good, Fabino, Roberto Firmino, Keita, Keita is coming forward, Keita to Salah and Firmino take a shot but he missed. I feel like my my controller wasn't good enough. I don't know what was happening there. My controller was not doing what I want my controller to do. The goalkeeper. Yeah, maybe a little sighter for him there. Look at that. Nobody was going to close him down. Instead, Sako was running away from him. Sako, Sako to Anderson. Anderson, one basker. 
One Bosako, one Bosaka Townsend, Townsend back to Tosa, Tosa, Sako, Sako, Anderson, Anderson, Tosa, Tosa, Sako, 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 so Mangala, Mangala is coming forward, Tosa again. Tosa, Tosa, Medijovic, Medijovic, so punch wide, punch wide, so Salah making it, Saha making a run, but that was fairly defended by Liverpool defense. Mane, Chamberlain, Robinson, Mane, Mane, Mane using his speed, man, against Anderson, who's then not that speedy. Good cross, Keita missed. With the good volley, though. Liverpool is putting us at they coming forward with Alexander Arnold, but the Alexander Arnold failed to pass Fabinho. Have the ball again. We mark the ball again and we give it back to Keita. Keita Femino, Femino Sala, Mo Sala. Mo Sala is cutting inside. Mo Sala tries a pass. It was not good, but the ball went back to Keita. Keita, but Tosa defended it well, man. But it's back with Liverpool. Chamberlain, Chamberlain to Mangala won the ball. The referee stopped the game. Keita is injured. Keita is injured. We can see Firmino playing a doctor there. Going into the net. I think it's come off the top of his head, that one. He made a mistake, Alisson, but it, was, it didn't cost them anything. Robinson Fabino. Tosa, what the ball back, man. Fabino with the Kellas pass. Milijovic, Milijovic, Milijovic with the cross. <laughs> Good finish. Clean finish. That's a great finish for the first goal of the day. Very good finish. I don't know if should I blame the keeper here or what. Brilliant finish. Van Dijk was marking him. Look at him. Very well taken. Well done, boy. It's been tight before that goal, but Will Fred Zaha. Lalano Fabino, Fabino, Kimani, Femino. Femino tries a pass to Salah, but it was not good. One minute before half time. Townsend, Townsend saw Banshua, Banshua, Zaha, Zaha with the pass, but it was not good enough. Robinson easily defended. Two minutes added on. The referee ends the first half. One nil. This is the last game of this episode. The first episode of Crystal Palace, man. They coming forward. Fabino, Fabino saw Salah, Salah, Alexander Arnold. Alexandra are not coming forward. He messed up the ball. Bustos take it. I don't know what he was thinking there. Bustos with a good pass to Townsend. 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 Townsend cross. Virgil van Dijk almost messed that up. And Zaha was down. Only if he was up, he was going to finish that. Good pass to Mo Salah. Mo Salah got the ball, man. Good control from Mo Salah. He tries to dribble Sako, but Sako was having none of that. Was having none of that. Mane hasn't scored. He's been struggling. He's been boggled by my A mistake by the keeper. Roberto Femino got the ball. He missed the target. Let's not repeat the same mistake. Zaha, Zaha so punch wide. Punch wide to one Pasaka. One Pasaka. Two minutes left. One Pasaka with a terrible cross, man. Milna want the ball back. Mane. Liverpool is coming forward. But we want the ball back. Medijovic. Medijovic so Bustos. Bustos is coming forward very fast. Zaha. Zaha is in the 18-yard area, but he fails to turn. Mo Salah. That's it. Referee ends the game. One nil win to Liverpool. That was a good result. That was the best result, man. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and try to tell your friends who love career mode to stick around and watch, man. If you love FIFA, you're gonna enjoy this. 
stick around to this channel like subscribe put that bell on you're gonna enjoy life with me man it's gonna be a journey it's gonna be a journey thank you so much i love you all bye Just miss the sex now Every time when I'm with you I feel blessed now